The Xbox Series X was originally projected and marketed by Microsoft to be the world's most powerful console. And PlayStation about to announce a PS5 Pro, the need for consoles is in demand, but Microsoft may have a totally different approach and next gen may start earlier than we thought. This is Colt Eastwood, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to talk about the new consoles, new hardware going forward, and how Xbox might be starting next generation early. If you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel, hit the bell, and let's talk about Xbox Series X 2. Xbox Series S and X consoles have been slow to hit the market just behind the cursed Xbox One 10 years ago, but for many, the consoles have barely scratched the surface. For the most part, most AAA games on Xbox Series X, we're seeing 1080p to 1440p at 60 FPS, which is hardly over double the performance we were promised from last generation. Ray tracing has been an outlier and mostly comprised of 30 FPS quality modes. Games still look incredible, but lately, especially this past year in 2023, games have struggled to hold 60 FPS on the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Sony wants to respond to the power deficit with a PS5 Pro as early as holiday 2024, promising 8K graphics and more performance-based ray tracing modes that we were expecting from the launch PS5. If the PlayStation launches a PS5 Pro in the holiday of 2024, the need and desire for a mid-gen refresh console from Xbox will be stronger than ever. Right now, many AAA multi-platform games run slightly better on the slightly less powerful PS5, a statement that is hard for Xbox console fans to accept, especially when Xbox promised power and performance. Phil Spencer stated in late 2019 before the launch of the Xbox Series consoles that they would not need a mid-gen console midway through the generation. But Phil Spencer also said that he sees a future where video game consoles are more akin to our smartphones which can be upgraded every two to four years. In a media press interview, Phil Spencer explained that they are in fact already working on the next set of consoles for Xbox. The idea for a mid-gen console can only accomplish so much right now with diminishing returns. A form factor $500 to $600 console can only reliably be capable of stabilizing 60 FPS performance at higher resolutions than we are seeing right now. In other words, a more lock 60 and well-maintained resolutions closer to 4K. But PlayStation promises to deliver more ray tracing from multi-platform developers on this PS5 Pro and with a stronger graphics engine and a mid-gen console, it would allow developers to offer a console quality ray tracing experience with a higher frame rate. Is it worth it to see stabilized frame rates which should already be seen, or to see ray tracing which many fans have seen not to be that impressive? Let's look at the Xbox Series X as it stands with performance where virtually no first party games offer ray tracing at 60 FPS. And two of their flagship games this year are locked at 30 with no performance options. This is the supposed world's most powerful console, the Xbox Series X. As it stands, a mid-gen console seems like it is not only sorely needed for fans, but it is needed for devs to unlock the potential of their games. Many are complaining that if Xbox releases another console, the developers will have to port their games to three Xboxes. It is quite possible that Microsoft is instead planning to release a full next generation console as early as 2026. Looking at Xbox's roadmap, with Elder Scrolls 6 coming right after that point, and Xbox's first party exclusives pushing the envelope of what we normally have seen in the past 10 years or so it would be more beneficial for the studios to advance gaming forward to allow Xbox to start next generation much earlier. But what would a next generation Xbox console look like in 2026? Well, first of all, Xbox is finally correcting their naming convention. The Xbox series nomenclature has set the Xbox gaming console to have a numerical system, much like we see with Samsung Galaxy and iPhones. The next Xbox Series consoles would be called the Xbox Series S2 and X2. 
This allows Microsoft to iteratively advance the consoles every few years instead of waiting nearly a decade. The Xbox Series S2, wouldn't it be better for Xbox to launch next generation with one console? Yes, the Xbox Series X2 would be the next powerhouse console. And looking at AMD's roadmap with the Series X using Zen 2 architecture from 2019 for a 2020 console, we should be able to see something as high as the four nanometer process Zen 5 CPU cores, which would be a major jump to what we currently have in the Xbox Series X. The GPU power in the current Series X would be upgraded to the Xbox Series X2, a Navi 4X RDNA 4 GPU. This is over three times more powerful than the GPU we currently have in the Series X, which would finally fill in the gaps that have kept us from getting ray tracing at 60 FPS on most AAA games. But RAM has also been a major obstacle for consoles, especially the Series S. So would Xbox launch the full next generation in 2026 with the two console approach? This is difficult to answer as the Series S has sold more than the X, but only due to the availability and the lower price point. An Xbox cannot make the same mistake twice and create a $300 price point Series S2 in 2026. This console would have to be more in line with a $400 lower spec model with more RAM or just do a singular Xbox Series X to launch. The disadvantage is that if Sony launches a PS5 Pro in 2024, Xbox fans will have a full two years of underperforming games by a far wider margin than ever we've seen on Xbox Series X versus PS5 right now. Half of the fans want a PS4 Pro or half of the fans don't want a mid-gen console, but once PlayStation launches a Pro in 2024, the need for new hardware will be stronger than ever. The Xbox hardware team still believes that developers have not quite tapped into the potential on the Xbox Series S and X hardware and the architecture, but that extra time needed to get most out of these consoles has led to underperforming games that are analyzed and picked apart by fans and experts like Digital Foundry. But Xbox is increasingly aloof in their nature with the console market that leads to worries that they may be working on their last console. As the market moves to more flexible choice, handheld consoles and PCs become more popular and on-demand gaming may become more ubiquitous. But right now, Xbox needs to capitalize on the concept of an Xbox Series X2 and start communicating to fans that there is more power yet to be unlocked with new gaming consoles as games get bigger. But as games get more demanding and look incredibly realistic, the need for new console hardware has never been more prevalent. And the Xbox Series X2 is something we need to see before 2026. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this channel. If you're here, if you've been subscribed, if you've watched a few of these videos over the past couple of years, you know I've talked about the hardware, the software and the tech behind the consoles for a long time. But what is Xbox going to do with these new consoles that I didn't cover here in the video? And that's what everyone wants to know. Like, will they actually push forward with consoles? Will they make one more console and then be done with them in the market? Will PlayStation follow suit? And devs are already running up against issues where they can't get games to look and run at the same time the way they want to. And I think as we go along and games get more advanced, it's only going to become more of a problem. If you ended up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. And if you want to further support the work we do here on the Colt Eastwood channel, you can join the channel membership below or join the Patreon. And either of those get you entered into monthly merch giveaways, which I've got two or three of them I need to do this summer. And it gets you entered into early access for videos before they go up. Also, we have the XNC podcast that runs every Monday and middle aged game guy and I have been talking about the news. We'll bring on guests as it goes, but that's a way to get a good one or two hours of discussion to get into all the news that's going on, even stuff outside of Xbox that affects what you like the most. So check that out. But I want to know in the comment section, how are you feeling about the Xbox Series X now and a future Series X 2? That's kind of important because I want to know how everybody feels. Do they want a new console or do they want to wait or are they ready for next generation? 
Let me know in there, and uh, the people will be arguing about this. I mean, it's going to be rough. It might be a rough couple of years, but uh, as I always say, be nice.